Hey, what's up guys? Today we are going to have a look at the Flip Grip. And this comes to us from Fangamer at Fangamer.com. Here's a quick look at the front of the box. You got a little Nintendo Switch looking character. And this is what it came in the mail in. Looks pretty cool. Alright guys, I want to mention today that this is uh, Big Man Savage Dan's brother. He wanted to get this video up on the channel because he's feeling a little bit under the weather. That's right guys. He got a little stomach bug or something. And uh, he's been sick for the last 24 hours. But uh, let's bust this thing open real quick. I'll have to borrow Dan's scissors. I know how he likes to be real careful with his boxes. So uh, I'm, gonna, I'm just speeding up the uh, video a little bit. But... Uh, it's kind of just a sort of an unboxing but uh we're going to show you how it works a little bit too yeah, it's pretty cool how it says uh, enjoy right there on the tab we'll get this thing open if you guys hadn't heard of the uh, the flip grip check it out it's only like what 12 bucks i think it's like 12 dollars big man savage dan paid for this and uh we got a chance to try it out a little bit and it's pretty cool and i'm definitely going to end up ordering me one We'll take it out of the plastic wrap here. And you can see what you get is uh well a little instruction card and there's your little Nintendo Switch looking mascot dude, whatever that is, sticker. We'll just call it the flip grip logo. And again, here's a little look at the instructions. Um there's not much to this. I'll just hold this up so you guys can read it, but uh it's pretty simple stuff. What we'll do with the uh, switch here in a second. Here's a look at the back side real quick. But uh, you can't really mess this up. We'll take the switch here in a second and just slide it right in. It's pretty easy stuff. And we'll show you in just a second that it really only goes in one way. So set this aside. Have a little look at the... Uh, flip grip itself it's pretty hard plastic guys it's uh feels like pretty durable quality material here and here's just a look at the uh inside of it let's get the uh switch in here and one last look at the instructions you can see right here that the uh switch will go on one way you can line those corners right up and it'll just click all the way down in there kind of just locks itself right in place it's fitting in there it's pretty snug and it's I don't think there's any real danger of it falling out next you'll just slide your controllers on the side you can hear it click just like you're going into a real controller as if you were sliding the joy cons into the switch itself um, now for some game time Actually, guys, I do want to mention one quick thing. Uh, this was one small downfall, but just a minor pick. A little minor nitpick. Um, when we're going in to the uh, flip grip, it does tend to turn the volume up and down. So, But we did find a really easy workaround. And all that was is if we would actually paid attention to the instructions that came with the flip grip, we would have known it tells you to... Hold down the home key on the red Joy-Con and then you can go in and adjust the volume and the brightness and stuff. So that one little issue was an easy fix and this thing's still a big win in my book. And one of the biggest reasons to uh, own one of these, in our opinion, is games like Vertical Schmups and of course uh, Pinball is the biggest reason that Big Man Savage Dan and myself are getting this. Well, he's got it. I'm getting it. <laughs> yeah, the biggest reason to get this is uh, just to enjoy all your vertical games. and Play all your old school vertical games like you saw Donkey Kong earlier when we were doing the volume adjustment. Here's a quick look at Akari Warriors 2 and Alpha Mission from the SNK 40th Anniversary. And guys, all in all, just one last look here. You can see that this thing is built pretty well. 
feels like it to me anyways you can see it's not going anywhere once it's in it's locked in so yeah for uh around twelve dollars i say get one of these for sure it gets a thumbs up from uh, mcm reviews and more and definitely here at big man savage dan's channel really quick we'll show you the simplicity of breaking it down and then we'll wrap this video up so yeah it's just a matter of pushing the buttons like you normally would slide your controllers out and the only little tricky part which isn't really tricky at all is just uh, once you turn it over to the back side you have that little orange yellow tab looking thing there you just kind of barely pull up on it you don't want to pull it too hard this thing's built pretty sturdy though I don't think it'll break anytime soon but that's it just slide it out but uh guys we appreciate you looking today and uh it was a pleasure filling in for my brother big man savage Dan today thanks for watching guys and again we'll leave a link in the description please subscribe and hit that like button see ya